William here. So yesterday I solved a really interesting bug and I thought, you know, I'd make a short video talking about this bug and also as a way to introduce a couple of different systems that we've got in the game. And also just as a short update, you can see uh, what we've been working on, the types of things we're working on at the moment. So let's jump into it. Basically, we have an LOD system for doors in the game. Um, okay, let's switch to perspective view. So this is a door in the game and it's got uh, two different states. It can be open or closed. In this case, it's closed. Well, actually three different states. There's closed, open, and animating, which is the transition between open and closed. And you can see here, this door object is made up of a lot of different pieces. And this is because that's how we're, we're animating various components. So, you know, there's the glass and let's see if we can, so you can see, so each piece is like that. And let me see if I can, show you what it looks like when it's animating. Let's first disable gizmos. Okay, so you can see that's the door being animated. We actually only have the opening animation when it closes, we're just playing that animation in reverse. And the nice thing about that is it allows us to sort of stop the animation halfway through. For example, if you if it's opening, but then you take the box away and it starts to close, it can it doesn't have to wait till it's open completely before it closes. So anyway, you can see it's made up of a whole bunch of uh, different meshes and to optimize it what we do is actually uh, create a combined mesh when it's closed and a combined mesh when it's open so the script is somewhere here we've got this when we when we make the game when the when I run a level we actually create an optimized version of the level. So you can see here, this is the name of this level is World Puzzle 337 Door LOD Test. You can see there's whole, everything is in these, um, well, in, in this level, there's it's fairly straightforward because it's just a test, but it's got this geometry and this one door, and you can see the geometry is made up of a bunch of separate pieces. Well. When I hit run, you'll see that we create an optimized version of the level, and that combines all the meshes and organizes everything. So where we do that in this script is, where do we do that? Mesh group. Ah, here it is. So, yeah, basically, what we do is we bake the LOD state. In this preparation stage, we take all of the objects in the scene that have a Mobius animator LOD component, that's a custom uh, component that we've implemented. And for each of those, we get all the renders in the uh, LOD zero level. So that's the, the level, the, the one you see when you're close to an object and we animate it to time zero. So that's the opening state. We bake it all down to form a renderer as well. We also get the colliders as well, but we combine it into a single renderer and a single collider. And then we skip to uh, skip the animation to the end, time 1.0. 
and then we bake that down into another render, another collider. And basically, when the door is closed or open, we show the single mesh instead of all the multiple ones. We only enable the multiple ones when it's animated. You can see here, you can see that is showing up, but the piece, as soon as it closes, it it is showing the single mesh. But, but now in this case, there's a bug. So this is the bug that we we're dealing with, which is for some reason, when we we're trying to generate that, um, the, that single mesh, we were having this problem. Like it, it, um, it, it, was, it wasn't getting generated. So to fix it, what I did was I wrote a, editor tool that just takes the door and makes and and com tries to combine the geometry. Okay, so you can see in this case, let's see here, we'll, um, we'll get rid of a couple of these pieces for simplicity's sake. So this is the custom tool, and basically it's testing geometry builder combined geometry. Let's drag this object in. Let's try to create the mesh render. So in this case, it's, it ends up creating it into two. All right, so that's the... <clears throat> putting it into two different pieces, but, but you can see one of them is getting all screwed up, right? There's like nothing getting in there. So I think there's, we, we do set the... Uh, maximum number of vertices for each mesh. So in this case, it's, it's throwing out two. Um, but the, the problem is this step, what's going on there. And if you take a look, so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a Pro Builder shape. By the way, Pro Builder just got integrated into Unity. So congrats to the Pro Builder devs. Okay, now we're going to use the same tool, combine geometry, and we'll drag this in here. So that is what's supposed to happen, right? It's supposed to take all the separate pieces and combine it into one mesh. Um, but for some reason, the door wasn't working. And looking into the code, we found that the culprit was this line, um, or this method. Uh, matrix. Matrix is zero scale. So I think the this is being called during a step. And if it's true, it we skip the iteration. And so they were all getting set to true. And I believe this is in place to make sure that the scale of the object is in zero, zero, zero. Because if it's zero, 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 then we don't bother with it. Um, and so you can see here we've got this epsilon value and we use that to we use the we calculate determinant and if it's less than this epsilon then we decide that it is um the scale is zero because uh, that's a, it's a test floating point errors the problem is that these pieces in the door because they were made in i think i believe blender the scale of it was all messed up. So when we, this was made in Blender, then it was imported into Unity. And all of the pieces were, like a hundred times bigger than they were supposed to be. So you can see here, the scale, I had to scale it down to be 0 0.01, 0 0.01. So what was happening was the determinant in this case was actually 0 0.01 to the power of three, which was smaller than the epsilon. So the solution was to simply make the epsilon much smaller, but this took basically all of yesterday to figure out. Anyway, just, uh, that was a, fun bug and I thought I'd do a summary on, on what the issue was and also 
showcase a bit about the, the tools you're using to optimize the game and generate LODs. All right, that's it for this time. See ya.